Hello there. Oh, hello there. Hey. I'm Caitlin. Or Catland. Or Kate. Or Cat. I can be what I, it's fine. Hi, I'm Caitlin and I have this fabulous, you know what? Fuck it. No, I'm not doing an intro. I'm just going to start every video. I'm just jumping right in. I'm not even going to introduce myself because I'm rude and I have no manners. Moving on. Um, I bring you this lovely speed paint of this Fennec Fox today to explain how I pick colors because that is something I get asked a lot actually and I don't know I kind of wanted to address it and hopefully it will be helpful to some of you. Um, basically what it boils down to is picking two to three colors that you like and you just like want to force to work together. Um, it will probably be a little journey of trying them in different ratios and different like uh, well, like in this case, I use watercolor, so like watering a color down more, making it lighter, or like adding more pigmentation or darkening it, but like variations of those colors. Um, and then you can slowly, as you get, as you become comfortable with those, add in like extra colors or accents or build palettes off of that, basically. Um, it'll become more intuitive, like the more you do it. But I definitely recommend like picking two to three colors and just don't use any other color like literally no in this case i use Payne's gray to darken my blues um but don't even do that like just stick with those colors until you're like yeah i got this i got this and then you can start adding more and see what works and what doesn't and you'll just get a feel for it for this method um it's like the easy way to do it uh especially with these colors because like pink yellow and blue are like practically primary colors but all I do is I use like the lightest color of the palette that I'm choosing or the colors that I like to make the lightest colors of the thing that I'm painting, in this case like the fox. And then like the middle color of the palette as mid and then the dark color as the dark colors of the subject. Um, makes sense. So like here I'm just using light as my... I'm using light. I'm painting with light. That sounds like fucking witchcraft. Here I'm just using yellow as my lightest colors. Um, kind of like a, a very transparent watered down light layer of yellow. Um, and then I use pink with usually like a little bit of orange mixed in for like my medium colors or any like blushes or like, I don't know if I was painting a person like fingertips and noses and cheeks where it's blushy. You get the idea. But yeah, and then the dark blue as the, like the darkest color. In this case, the fox doesn't actually have, like when I was looking up these foxes, like the Fennec Fox, I don't know. A lot of the ones I looked at really didn't have much color variety in terms of like patterns and stuff. So I sort of just accentuated like the shadows and the way the light was hitting it to make it more colorful. Um, really the most, they were mostly just like a light sandy blonde and then it's like, a light whitish color but then there's the dark eyes and nose and whatever and like a little bit of pink in the ears or something um so this maybe wasn't <laughs> the best example for that but if I had like spots I would like dark brown or black spots or like stripes or something I would like use the dark blue in place of like the brown or black or whatever um or maybe I would like mix the pink and the blue and make like a purple if it was kind of like a medium color but yeah, so it's pretty simple and straightforward. Pick two to three colors. Um, use exclusively those so you're comfortable with it and just start adding in other stuff that works together. And if it doesn't work together, start over and pick a new color. What are you doing, dummy? But yeah, it gets more intuitive as you go. And um, again, this is kind of... This palette, like the pink, yellow, and blue is a little bit easier to do and I'm painting something without much um, color variety so I'll probably make another video on like my mixed media paintings where I use like a lot of acrylics colored pencils and markers like together and because those ones I use some more like extreme colors like a lot of like purples and minty greens um, like hot pink and I will show how I use 
like how I pick crazy colors like that in um yeah that's like that's like the intermediate phase this this right here this is like the beginner phase I guess if you want to think of it that way it's like the the easy like start off I don't know you ever started painting with primary colors and then like, your teacher's like yeah make everything in your painting with these three colors and that that's it that's what's happening here um and then you can just swap out or like if you're uncomfortable picking an entirely new palette um if you start with like pink yellow and blue red yellow blue whatever um take out one of those colors and put a new one in like um pink yellow and blue maybe you want to do maybe you don't like yellow maybe you want to do pink purple and blue or or red purple and blue or red green and blue or red orange and blue red black fuck do you get it just swap another one in and just work with it until you decide you don't like it again just like use different try different variations you, you get the idea thanks for listening to me ramble bye